because like I remember um posing this to to a to a classroom of logic students and being like and, and asking you know how would you define nothing and they said well that the set in which every proposition or the, the the universe in which every proposition is false and I was like well what about that does not exist in X and I was like, that's, or an X such that F like where F is whatever whatever predicate you like I said like, well that would be true though and it's like oh god yes there's a true proposition in the nothing verse yes and I thought you know it's, it's kind of it's kind of a fun little a fun little formal exercise so, more than someone else. in the comment once said to me uh, on YouTube true nothingness would not contain the constraining axiom that something can't come from nothing. So, like, why not? Mm. Why can't something come from nothing? Because well, yeah. if it's truly nothing, yeah, then I mean, where's where's the rule that says that something can't come from nothing? The other the other thing, I I mean, I really like that because I feel like that's gonna that's gonna come up a lot later where it's like um where are rules something? Yeah, and, um, yeah, yeah. We'll do the but, laws of logic. Yes, yeah, yeah. But oh yes, um, the talking about possibilities about whether there could be something rather than nothing, um, I think is is very interesting because it. it Again, drawing back to this methodological point um, that Hume like doesn't quite spell out, but I actually, actually think you know, with with kind of modern like ideas about possible worlds, we can we can think a bit more a, a, in a bit more detail about like reasoning about possible worlds is kind of weird in and of itself. And I think that it, it's one of those things that are you know, if you wanted to, you could argue that um, well, all of our all of our reasoning about possibility again is grounded in this world, right? I can 